Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. For those of you that are new, I lost 50 pounds and I've been able to keep the weight off with smarter, healthier meal options and a better lifestyle. I do have an entire playlist dedicated to a bunch of meal ideas if you're interested, so be sure to check those out. Before we get started today, make sure that you're still subscribed to my channel so you never miss a new video. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more day-to-day -day updates. So let's get started with today's breakfast. This is actually a typical go-to for me. I have like a handful of breakfast meals that I kind of just cycle through. I'm typically not super hungry in the morning, but I like something that keeps me full until lunch. These are my two go-to yogurts. Yogurt can be really tricky because a lot of times you may think that you're grabbing something that's healthier, but it's loaded with sugar. So be sure to always check the nutritional information and labels. Yogurt can be such a great source of protein, calcium, and good bacteria for your gut health. I also like to add granola because of the texture, but it also helps to keep me full full longer. If I am using the non-flavored yogurt rather than the vanilla, I also sometimes like to add a little bit of honey on top and cinnamon to give it a little added sweetness. Moving on to lunch, I'm going to make a wrap. Swapping to a wrap rather than an actual sandwich saves you a ton of added carbs that are unnecessary. I do also want to show here that using for fried chips, a taco bowl, pizza crust, quesadilla, grilled burrito, and more. So just keep that in mind when you're making healthy swaps. You can get super creative to cut yourself down on sugar and carbs while increasing your protein and again, still satisfying. I'm then going to top this off with a serving size of tzatziki cucumber dill spread some shredded lettuce, and a few slices of oven roasted deli chicken. Then I ripped up a piece of American cheese in half, kind of <laughs> messily, so it fits better across the wrap. Finish this off with some pepper. Then for a side or a snack to have after or with this, whatever you choose, I actually forgot to film this, so sorry it's not included, but I just had a bunch of baby carrots and raw broccoli with a little bit of ranch dressing. Tonight's dinner was so good, I honestly could eat this like at least once a week. You're gonna need about a tablespoon of sun-dried tomato pesto, two ounces of baby spinach, one puff pastry dough, one tomato, one zucchini, half a teaspoon of garlic pepper, one ounce of light cream cheese, half an ounce of shredded Parmesan cheese, and two garlic cloves. You'll also need 12 ounces of salmon fillets. In a bowl, I'm going to combine the sliced zucchini, tomatoes, pesto, and pinch of salt and pepper. Then place this on a lined or prepared baking sheet, placing the oven 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. While our veggies are roasting, we're gonna move on to the puff pastry. Because this is two servings, you're gonna have the giant square into two rectangles. Placing these on a second prepared baking sheet, use the tip of a knife and draw diagonal lines on the pastry about half an inch apart, basically making a cross hatch or also known as scoring. Then you're gonna bake these, depending on your oven, about eight to 12 minutes. While the pastry is baking, we're gonna move on to searing the salmon. Adding the salmon skin side up first to a hot pan, you're gonna sear this about two to four minutes on one side. Then we're going to add these to the vegetable baking sheet. So removing the veggies from the oven, we're gonna to top these off with Parmesan, then add the seared salmon, seared side up to half of the baking sheet. You'll then add this back to the oven, roasting for about another 10 minutes. Don't forget to check on your pastries and remove those from the oven. You can just set those aside until we're ready. Finishing up, we're going to make the sauce. So using the pan that we cooked the salmon in originally, we're gonna add some olive oil and the garlic, stirring until they begin to brown for about 60 seconds. Then add in your cream cheese, one third cup water, stirring constantly until melted and creamy for one to two minutes. Then you can add in your spinach, again stirring until the spinach wilts for another minute or so. Remove this from the burner, then you can plate your dish, topping the salmon with the sauce, pastry, and veggies on the side. Then for a guilt-free dessert, because I definitely have a sweet tooth, I'm gonna have some of my Enlightened ice cream. This is one of my favorite flavors that they make. This is the marshmallow peanut butter. It's only 90 calories per serving, which is about half a cup. The container here has about four servings in it. It's a great high protein option that's so tasty. It's low fat, low carb, low sugar, and higher protein compared to the leading, like regular, not so good for you brand ice cream. And it only has three nut carbs. They have a ton of really great flavors, so definitely check them out. I'm a huge fan. 
So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to make sure you're still subscribed to my channel and that you're following me on Instagram for more day-to-day -day updates. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.